Hello everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact. How's everyone's day going? Uh, actually, better yet, uh, how's, how was everyone's holidays? I hope it was good. Mine was pretty good. I got a, I got a lot of nice things. For starters, I got a new mic. So, I don't know if I sound any different compared to the last videos I've posted before. Uh, I got, I got some clothes. That's about it. But uh, overall, I'd say my Christmas was pretty good. Now, not to waste everyone's time. Today we're going to continue with the quest. The, uh, the event quest going on right now. The Chalk Prince and the Dragon. <coughs> we, uh, we are doing... Which one was it again? I forget. <laughs> Right here, this is the one. So, right after the first mission, the prologue, I mean. Here we go. Albedo! Hmm? Oh, are you lost? No, we're not! Haha. <laughs> These are two... I don't like both of these. Let's go with this one. A secret? Hey, what are you doing? Our mission calls for a delicate approach. Well, you weren't fo fooling him either way. Uh, anyway. Sure, but still. Actually, you've arrived at just the right moment. I have business with you too, in fact. Here, catch. Huh? What's this? As you can see, it is a sword. Oh. I did not make the sword. However, I did add some alchemical touches to it. Would you like to try it out? Yes. My research indicates that this sword has some... unique properties. Only you can use it. But I need to gather data from it quite urgently. So, could I bother you to use it in battle? Wait a second! How can there be a sword that only one person can use? Very astute of you. This sword has indeed had a curse laid upon it. An ordinary person would be unable to wield it at all. However, you are an exception. Well, how do you know? Huh? Or perhaps I should say that only you are immune to the curse. As such, who could I find to help me if not you? We gain little from saying more. Go find some monsters nearby. After all, some things are best discovered through practice. But I don't understand. How is... I'm... Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> really? I don't... What am I supposed to do with this? It's practically useless. Okay, hold on a second. Recharge. Uh, you, you know what? Let's just use it with Kuching. I don't even have anything to like upgrade it with. Um. I could all just use these, I guess, right? Or maybe you know, wait, what if what if I don't have to upgrade it? What if I just go ahead and use it? Oh god, I have to travel. Oh that's a big dude. I'm gonna try to avoid him. I'm not here. Oh! Bye. I'm. I'm. I don't exist. Please go away. Thank you. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you. Ha! 
How about those over there? Paimon still has a bad feeling about this. Nowhere to hide. Speed of light. He was barely. Barely was It's with this brat! Give it back, you thief! Treasure hoarders? There are treasure hoarders in a place this cold? Enough talk! Hand it over! Watch out! Oh shit, that was, yeah, that was quick. You Enhanced died. animal module 75! Eat this! Don't uh, blink! Uh, 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 Another test subject. This sword is shattered. Uh, 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 that's uh, a little taste. Uh, no problem. Uh, that's that uh, one. Uh, that's uh, bad. Uh, Ring cutter. That Ring uh, outlines your uh, uh, my soul. Uh, body and uh, animal uh, test. Uh, uh, really. Uh, 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 go and cross. Uh, uh, yeah, animal hyperspace uh, simulation. Uh, uh, should, should. Easy. Now that's rich. Treasure hoarders calling us thieves? Yeah. They certainly arrived quickly. Goodness, no. They seem to have been talking about this sword. What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Of course I didn't steal the sword. Not long ago. The knights caught a band of treasure hoarders outside the city. The goods they were smuggling were also impounded. This sword was one of those items. We believed it to be stolen plunder, but no one came to claim it. Nor could we find out where it came from, so it languished in our stores. I noticed it quite by chance while in our storehouse. To tell you the truth, such an old sword would see little use outside of alchemy. You claimed it for yourself? Just like that? So, then what happened? You just took it with you? Indeed. And I initially intended to perform some experiments on it. But I unexpectedly discovered its true origins in the process. This ancient-looking weapon once passed through the hands of a now-deceased blacksmith. It is a legendary, magical sword. A magical sword? It is said that the smith vanished not long after creating the weapon, with the weapon subsequently becoming lost to time. Working backwards from its eventual fate as plunder, one can guess that it was then stolen by the treasure hoarders, where it remained in obscurity till recently. The blacksmith who made this weapon disappeared? That's kind of spooky. No wonder it's cursed. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, just a heads up, if you guys hear clicking, that's my keyboard. I I have no idea how to fix that uh, noise, because uh, my mic keeps uh, picking it up. But um, I, I hope it's not too loud. I, I really did try to try to fix it. Um, I had no idea how to make it any quieter, but I guess that's what happens when you have a mechanical keyboard. Do you know the story of Durin and this mountain? <clears throat> Durin was the black dragon who menaced Mondstadt, before finally being defeated by the combined efforts of Dvalin and the Animo Archon Barbados. After a fierce battle, the vanquished Durin crashed to ruin here, <clears throat> falling into the thick snow. Snow gathers atop this mountain and never melts, which is a most curious phenomenon. Which leads one to wonder, was Durin's fall here purely by chance, or was it intent? Could it really have been intent? 
Perhaps this place was chosen as a gravesite precisely so that the snow's power could seal the corrosive toxin coming from Jiren's body. It seems plausible that Barbados would think of such a method. Huh. Was Barbados such a capable god? Yes. Well, these are just my postulations. I don't have any evidence. But what's for certain is that this mountain and Durin are deeply intertwined. In fact, I believe that the very sword in your hand has Durin's remains in it. A dragon's remains? Indeed. The dragon's eyes, claws, and scales ground into dust before being used to coat the blade. In this way, Durin's corruption and venom entered into the sword and became the source of its power. This is very advanced craftsmanship. I presume that having successfully forged the weapon, the smith must have tried it out themselves in their joy. But using the sword in battle would have allowed the corruption to seep through the blade's handle and into their bodies. Ordinary mortals cannot withstand such power. The blacksmith must then have fled, driven mad by the curse, before meeting their end in some unknown place. Okay. You've purified the Valen's tears before, which is a very rare ability indeed. This ability has protected you from being corrupted or poisoned, and you can completely eliminate their effects, which is why you and only you can properly wield this sword. Still, he is the chosen this sword one. really is huge. Yikes! It's glowing! You just noticed as that? As far as I'm concerned, this is where the real experiment begins. This sword is still very weak at present. However, it is able to absorb energy. And through that, it is able to constantly become stronger. In some sense, you could even say that it is a living thing. <clears throat> well then, traveler, adventure with it to your heart's content. I need you to help it grow. I believe that we will soon have all the proof that we need. Oh. Oh. Well then. Well, that's it, huh? That was actually pretty quick. A bunch of stuff here. Okay. Oh, okay. We will do that one in the next video. And this one's kind of short. But hey, fuck it, right? I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!